What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix flickering black boxes and invisible enemies in Elden Ring. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. This problem is in most cases related to your graphics card resources and in-game settings. Open up Elden Ring and navigate to your graphics settings section. In the graphics section, Make sure to change your screen mode to full screen to get the highest FPS. Below, you will want to use your native monitor resolution. The Auto Detect Best Rendering settings should be enabled, as this will enable the game to change some settings according to your in game performance. Set the overall quality setting according to your system performance. Low end PCs should set this to low. When this is done, Navigate to your advanced graphics settings. Set the texture quality to low or medium. I will set this to medium as it will run fine on my PC. Set anti-aliasing quality to low, SSAO to medium. Disable depth of field and motion blur. Motion blur will have no impact on your performance, but most users prefer to disable this graphics option. Reduce your shadow quality to low Lighting quality to medium, effects quality to medium, volumetric quality to low, reflection quality to low, as well as the water surface quality and shader quality. After applying your changes, you can close the game and open up your task manager. In order to reduce the graphics card utilization from other programs, I suggest you add some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only end programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the Startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on System Boot. You can then close your Task Manager. You should make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU. But you can also use the AMD Radeon software. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Repeat this step at least a few times a year to make sure that you get the most out of your hardware. When navigating to your GeForce settings, make sure to disable the in-game overlay in your general settings tab, as application overlays often cause performance issues. Below, you have the option to enable the image scaling option. For some of you, this option is not available as the graphics driver is not up to date. Enabling Nvidia Image Scaling can dramatically increase your frame rate for any game you play on your PC. After making sure that your GPU driver is up to date, open up your system settings window. Here, navigate to the gaming section. Under Game Mode, you have the option to enable or disable Game Mode on your PC. In theory, Game mode should prevent Windows Update from performing driver installations and sending restart notifications, as well as help achieve a more stable frame rate while in game. Some users have reported that disabling this option will drastically increase their gaming performance on Windows 11 or 10. In your related settings, select Graphics. Click on Browse to change some custom settings for Elden Ring. In your File Explorer, Navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. The file path for the Steam version is Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring, Game, and here select Elden Ring. This will add Elden Ring to this list below. When selecting options for Elden Ring, make sure to set the graphics preference to high performance, which, in most cases, will take advantage of your graphics processor to help run the game on your system. Keep your settings window open and search for update to get to your Windows update settings. Make sure to check for recent updates and in case there is an update available to you, make sure to download it before restarting your PC, which will install the update for you. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.